Okay, let's get this done as quickly as we can. First off, just a quick note on the title there. It says shift and overlap, comparing the boxes. And it's really important we understand that that's what we're doing here. Just look at the boxes, okay? So ignore the whiskers, only look at the boxes. We can only say there's a shift if both end of the box and the median go in the same direction, okay? can be either direction, but it has to be one direction, right? Haha, <laughs> Harry Styles, I think. Right, so if we look at A and B there, we can either talk about, you know, left or right, whichever box. But if we notice, look, this has gone that way, this has gone that way, this has gone that way. So B is to the right of A. In my, oh, I notice it says in my sample. Okay, earlier me was much smarter there. Okay, so in my sample, B is shifted to the right of A. We don't know that that's necessarily what's happening in the population. That's part of what we're trying to decide. Okay, if we look at this one, as we go that way, that's increased, that's increased, but that has decreased. So we're getting, we've got three witnesses. And tell, two of us are telling us the same story, one's telling a different story. Do we listen to the two and ignore the one? No, what we say is, no, no, there's no shift between my samples, right? Um, we'll talk a bit, bit more about more detail that you can put in later. Right, now, uh, you're not going to see my answer, are you? Um, can I make myself disappear? I don't, oh, hang on, I can make a pen. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so. Uh, if we look here to the left, to the left, to the left, yes. So B is shifted to the left of A. Obviously, we could also talk about A being shifted to the right of B. That's fine. It's just uh, two ways of saying the same thing. So now we'll move on to the idea of overlap. So overlap is any area that the two boxes contain the same values. If you look at the um, at the lower box, right, and see where it is straight under the top box. So let's have a look. Think about what percent is of the smaller box. So which is the smaller box? I would say that A is the smaller box. Okay. So uh, if I get rid of that, I can click on here. So that there is the overlap. Now if I look at that. It's just over half, about 60, 70%, not 70%, maybe 60%, I don't know, whatever. So it's it's not like all of it, and it's not as small and significant, so what's the word that's somewhere in the middle? Um, moderate amount of overlap, okay? Good. Um, so let's have a look here. Now here I would say B is the smaller box. And it's more 70, maybe even, yeah, about 70% there. It's definitely more than the last one. There's quite a lot of overlap, right? Or you could still say moderate, you know. There's, there's, there's room for disagreement, okay? Here, oh, B is the smaller one, and 100% of it is underneath A. So we're going to say that it is completely overlapped, okay? And here there's... There is some overlap. Now, sometimes there might not be any of it, so you would say there is no overlap. But in this case, there's still a little bit. Now, remember, we look at it on A, not on B, because that's a smaller box this time. Uh, so there's a, a tiny bit of overlap. There's very little overlap in the middle 50%. That's another way of referring to the box. Okay, next. Um, okay, oh, speaking of no overlap. Look at that first example, right? Um, one little thing, you should always remember, the, the less overlap there is, the more shift there is. The more overlap, less shift. Total overlap means no shift. Okay, so looking at the first one, there is no overlap, so there's quite a lot of shift, and B is shifted to the right of A. Okay, looking at the second one, oops, I accidentally clicked, but you can see that B is completely overlapped. Um, and you can't really say that either has higher scores. A has higher and lower scores than B, so yeah, okay. Uh, there's, there's no pattern there, okay. 
here you might see that that is just a little bit to the right it's they are actually all telling the same story though it doesn't look very convincing because there's most of it's overlapped okay now remember this is telling the story about the sample and of course the population story could be a bit different it should be fairly similar so if you're only seeing a small difference in the samples then the group that you're pulling it from maybe that 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 difference doesn't really exist in there okay uh so that's the end of my story